How much does the average adult skeleton weigh? Is it as much as A, one car tire, B, five BMX bikes, or C, 15 bricks? The answer is A, one car tire. Our skeleton only makes up about 15% of our overall body weight. The rest is our muscles, guts, and blood. And talking of skeletons, now it's time for Investigation Ouch. So what do you think the inside of a bone looks like? This is an animal's thigh bone, and I'm going to cut it in half and show you. You can see how amazingly strong bone is by the fact that I have to use a saw to cut through it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, look at that, that's perfect. So it looks like rock, but actually, your bones are as alive as any other part of your body. Inside the bone is a web of fibres, and that's what gives bones their amazing strength. These spongy fibres can absorb lots of pressure, meaning our skeleton is one of the toughest parts of our body. So bones are incredible, but they're also incredibly complex. And in here, engineers are growing them. Meet engineering expert Dr Michelle Oyen. She's so interested in the structure of bones that she's built these robots made out of Lego so they can make artificial bones in a lab. So Michelle, why are bones so amazing? Bone itself has really fantastic physical properties, especially for something of its weight or density. It's really stiff, it's really strong, and it's really tough, resistant to breaking. So Michelle, what are you doing here? We're dipping a screw into four different beakers. Two of them just have water, and the other two have some protein from your body and also some calcium in one jar. And in the other jar, we have some chemicals called phosphate. So the little piece of metal there is being dipped in these liquids, but you're getting a solid bone out of it. Yeah, it's forming, it's growing itself as we dip. So we go over and over and over again, and the layer gets thicker and thicker and thicker. So why are you doing this? For surgeries, you could take a screw, which are used in surgeries when you have broken bones to hold your bones together, but the biological cells in your body don't really like the metal. And so if you put a bone coating on the screw, then those cells would basically not see the metal. But Michelle is an engineer and thinks she can take her homegrown bones and make something much more spectacular. We're interested in building things, and so we think it's got a lot of applications for maybe making skyscrapers. That's amazing. You're actually taking the kind of inspiration from the human skeleton to do something completely different with it. Absolutely, and it makes sense because we've evolved over millions of years, and this is the structural material that holds us up, so it absolutely makes perfect sense that we might be able to make new things where it's holding them up. In fact, Remember the web-like pattern of fibres we saw inside the bone earlier? Well, it's this same pattern which was the inspiration behind the structure of a very famous landmark, the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Isn't it amazing to think that one day we could actually be living in buildings made out of bone? But these are small beginnings, and after 24 hours, this is the result of the robot's work in the lab. So it really looks like a real bone, doesn't it? Yep, because it's made of the same stuff. This tiny bone is the final product, and it's almost exactly the same as the bones in your body, but there's one crucial difference. It's not alive, it's inanimate. The bones in your body have living cells in them that allow them to grow and mend if you break them. Yeah, man.